Thanks again for stopping by everybody. This is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Very pleased to have you here today. We have a good looking food and wine pairing. How about some Pinot Noir and mushrooms? I, uh, I think it sounds terrific, smells terrific, looks terrific. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. This is the 2012 Pocket Watch Pinot Noir coming out of Australia, the uh, Victoria region. And uh, again, coming out of grocery outlet at $4.99 a bottle, terrific value. And kind of doing a little uh, variation on the theme with the uh, mushroom bruschetta. So uh, this is um, some uh, portobello mushrooms, some baby bellas, as we saw from the picture, uh, done with a little bit of uh, aged uh, Holland Gouda, uh, with uh, some of them with tomato, some of them with not. And then over here we have a, kind of a Parmesan uh, style of cheese, a farmstead cheese, uh, domestically produced. Um, again, some done with uh, oven roasted tomatoes, uh, some not, and, uh, and just some plain uh, Pinot. So typically, uh, Pinots, uh, for the most part, don't tend to really be so fruit forward. They tend to really be kind of uh, more uh, of an earthy style in most cases, which uh, as we all know, mushrooms uh, are a very earthy flavor. And it's really a, a terrific way to kind of see uh, how uh, well your, your Pinot can uh, stand up to food. It's kind of a, like a, almost like a litmus test. So let's review the, uh, the Pinot real quick here. And uh, from the video uh, before and the tasting, we were talking about uh, the really wonderful complex nose on this. Uh, lots of different layers of things. So uh, we were talking about uh, cola notes. We were talking about a little layer of sandalwood, uh, a little dried boysenberry, um, and, uh, and just a terrific uh, uh, kind of evolving sort of nose. And... Um, we also talked about the color a little bit, and the color uh, is definitely indicating that it's a, a mature uh, wine ready to be drinked pretty much now, 2012. So, light to, light to medium body, um, kind of dried fruit, um, really a terrific, uh, got a little bit of tannic structure, which should hold up well with the wine. <coughs> and... Um, Let's just dive right into it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, first just try a little bit of uh, just the regular uh, sautéed mushrooms. Uh, just some uh, sourdough toast, sourdough toast points. Uh, a little bit of butter and um, garlic, uh, onion powder. Um, a little bit of butter, olive oil, and a little red wine with the uh, with the mushrooms. Uh, kind of terrific. Very steaky, but uh, very nice on its own as well. Just delicious. If you don't have a toaster oven, make sure you get one because they just make little noshy things like this a snap and real easy. You don't have to fire up the big oven and warm the whole house up. And then again, the wine is, is a very nice match to it. Kind of uh, picks up the earthiness in the wine, which is kind of what we were looking for. Uh, real terrific. So let's go ahead and try some of the uh, the gouda here. Uh, melted uh, uh, nicely with the um, the toaster oven. And um, again, not a smoked gouda, which is often times what you find. Just a um, kind of a milder gouda. Really wonderful. And. Um, Let's see how that works with the wine. Kind of picks up a little bit more bright fruit in that. It's just amazing how any different food that you you try with a with a Pinot Noir really is uh, is kind of a whole new experience, and it, it's a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we have here. So this is a, kind of again kind of a Parmesan sort of style uh, cheese, and um, we're doing uh, kind of some oven roasted tomatoes with it. A true uh, mushroom bruschetta. And the tomatoes are, I'd imagine, hot house, a little bit more flavorful. And of course, whenever you, you do some oven roasting with the tomatoes, it brings out a, a whole different side of things. Kind of makes it a little bit more uh, complex. And again, just working wonderfully with the wine. So kind of fun. A lot of different kind of 
permutations that you can do with this sort of thing. Really fun for parties, really fun for uh, kind of um, thinking out loud, which is really what food and wine tasting is all about. Kind of trying to figure out what's, uh, what's exciting and what's uh, really making you happy. And this is making me happy. I hope it's making you happy too. So again, the uh, 2012 Pocket Watch Pinot Noir out of Australia, $4.99 at Grocery Outlet. Um, all of these items, again, are coming out of Grocery Outlet. Terrific uh, place to find some delicious nashi type foods. And this is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Always pleased to have you here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.